Okay, okay, let's get this one going. Now remember, when I put you on that stand, look in my eyes. Always... The jury. The jury? What's wrong? It's made up entirely of my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> Uh-oh. When they were selected, didn't you think to ask, were you ever fucked over by the accused? No, I never thought. How could I know? I should have. Okay, enough chattering. Let's go. The plaintiff, Miss Leslie Peters, accuses the defendant, Mr. Bruce McCullough, of being an asshole. <laughs> On more than one occasion. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor but with various good excuses. Oh, no, it's true. Occupant or visitor at 810 Ossington. Come out the front door with your hands in front of you. You are surrounded. So what do you think a house like that is worth anyway? About uh, 280000 Geez, uh, I'd have to see inside. <laughs> right. Unit 501, we have a data update. Go ahead, 109. Your hunch was right. There are two bathrooms. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, I have to say 300K. Although a shooter like this just makes the property value go right down. You're right. Tell you what, I'm going to run around back and see how big the yard is. Yeah. Cover me. Gotcha. About six months ago on my birthday, none of your business. Some of my straight friends took me to one of those places where chorus boys lip sync songs by famous ladies for tourists. The evening was a disaster from the get-go. We had the best table in the house. The place was filled with men in big steel suits and women in Jacqueline Smith fashions from Kmart. Very sexy. All of a sudden, the lights went down, and a spot appeared center stage. Showtime. And into the lights stepped Miss Peggy Lee. Or a reasonable facsimile thereof. She began to sing directly to me. I was disgusted, of course. But I didn't want to let on. As an angry drag queen, it's scarier than a minotaur. So I smiled at her, but without using my eyes, like this. That's when the acid kicked in. The next thing I remember was flying at the queen, screaming, you're not really singing, who cares? A scuffle ensued, and in the melee, the knitting needles in her hairdo pierced her skull and she was killed instantly. But it didn't seem to affect her act one bit. Oh no, Miss Peggy Lee kept right on singing. My trial was a zoo. Nude photos, ex-lovers, a mystery witness in a hood, huge press. But the judge was a closet case and resented my openness. He gave me 20 years. Why, I'll be almost 40 when I get out. 
<laughs> my appeal's coming up, but it seems hopeless. But I don't have to pay rent. I'm in love. Life is good. <laughs> All that. His name is Leon. I fell in love with him from his very first words to me. You might as well, you got no choice. <laughs> Our relationship is based a lot on fantasy. I pretend that he rapes me, and he rapes me. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm dreaming. It's not his fault that he's mean. He had a bad childhood. Oh, I know what you're thinking, didn't we all? Yes, but his was in the papers. <laughs> but we have a lot in common. We've both killed. And we love to sing in the choir. <laughs> oh, we make a great team, Leon and I, like Bogey and Bacall, Siegfried and Roy, Hercules and Newt. <laughs> People always ask me, buddy, what does it feel like to kill someone? Well, the only thing I could possibly compare it to is winning an Oscar. <laughs> oh. Riot. Happens every Thursday. Back in 10. Leon, put down that stick. That's James Brown you're threatening. Good afternoon, freaks. I'm Jerry Sizzler. This is my sister. Jerry Sizzler. We are, of course, two armed and dangerous sisters and not too clearly insane people. Right. Now, hands up. You better do it, pricks. We have a gun. I'm not afraid to use this. Put your hands up, up, up. If you could do me a, a personal favor and, and pretend that he has a real gun, and if you could manage it to look a little bit frightened. Ah, ah, excellent, quite excellent, thank you. I said hands up, pricks! Ah, yes. And take your shoes off. Take off your shoes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, 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 pass them about. Mix them up, mix up the shoes, mix up the shoes. Mix them up, mix them all, mix them up. Jerry. Stop! You fall in love with her. <laughs> ah, is that sweet? Yes, yes, Jerry. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now to business. <laughs> Where's the manager? I'm the manager. All right, how much money do you want? You don't want any money, Dan, all right? We want to deposit $110. And we want to do it now! We'd like to put $90 into our checking account and $20 into our personal savings. They're done. Ah, thank you. Wait a minute, funny boy. We never endorsed that check. Very clever, Jerry. Very clever. Uh, Jerry Coppers! No, Jerry. That sounds like the police. Oh, that's even worse. Let's go, Jerry! Oh. Shot, Jerry. My God, Jerry, you're right. What's happening to the city, Jerry? It's a madhouse, Jerry. A madhouse, Jerry. A madhouse. You a madhouse. It's a madhouse. Calling all units. 211 in progress. Robbery in progress. Medina and Wellington. Car 212 response. Let's move out. Wait. It's a nice day. It's only a couple blocks away. You want to walk? Yeah. Let's move out. Uh, 
Uh, it's me, Max Davis. I answered your ad in the personals. We have a date tonight. Oh, yeah? Are you my date? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, I bet your mother gave you a name. What is it? Uh, I said it was Max. Oh, yeah? Come on in, Max. No. You want to eat dinner out here? I did last night. So, you're, uh, not from Toronto? No, just north of it. Come on in. Oh. Well, what are you? God, you're not too bright. I'm a chicken lady. A chicken lady? Yeah, and I love life. Do you love life? Oh, yeah. I thought you might, because I put that in my personal Latin. Chicken lady loves life. Gee, I never took that literally. I never... No? I never, never really took ch ch chicken lady literally. Oh, you're not too bright. No. Just the way I like them. See, that's my mom. And that's my dad. He left town the day I was born. They say he ain't never coming back. Papa was a rolling stone, huh? <laughs> Let's get a look at you. <laughs> God, you're different. Oh? Yeah, all the other guys are usually a lot bigger. Uh. But I got tired of paying for it. <laughs> Darn near couldn't make my rent this month. Well, I guess it adds up. Because it adds up? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it would. Yeah, it adds up. <laughs> so do you like the place? Oh, yeah, sure, it's really nice. I can't stay. Sure you can! <laughs> Have a seat. So, what is it you do? I'm a banker. God, you must be thirsty. <laughs> can I get your beer? Would you like to just drink out of the toilet? A beer. Okay, sure, you Would you like to sign my yearbook? Oh, no, thank you. High school was hell for me. Oh, really? All the other kids teased me. Wow, imagine that. <laughs> if you want to stay in my good books, don't call me a bird brain. If you want to stay in my good books, which you do. <laughs> <laughs> gravel and grubs, gravel and grubs. I love to eat my gravel and grubs. <laughs> Oh. oh, I made you an omelet on account of I figured you might not like bugs. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Tuck in. Ah, good. Of course it's good. Because mm. they're fresh, straight out of my body and onto your plate. That's a nice hunk you got there. Mine ran away. <laughs> I know what you're gonna do in there. <laughs> gotta get laid, gotta get laid. <laughs> oh great, 50 bucks. Hello, stud line? Is Gunther working tonight? Oh good, I like him a lot. Send him up. Yep, same actor. I've seen that guy before. Hey, you. You're in that uh, comedy show, uh, The Boys in the Band. Kids in the Hall. Yes, I am. I like that show. It really? It makes me laugh. Well, thank you very much. You know, it's really interesting where we get our ideas. Hey, would you like to buy some hash? <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't like to buy any hash. 
Okay, man. Just ask him. Well then, goodbye. <laughs> Officer, we have some hash dealers in the neighborhood. Could you take care of it, please? Thanks. Let's go. Thanks, Mr. McDonald. No problem, officer. Hi, I'm Kevin McDonald, the kids in the hall, reminding all you kids out there that thinking is good, drugs are bad. You know, when I first read the novel 1984, I actually agreed with several Big Brother's theories and thought that he got a bum rap. Now that means calling the cops on your parents after they have a pot party, so be it. I've done that and I think I'm the better for it. So from now on, watch our show laugh a little and say no to Mr. Hash Dealer. Sure, officer. Sure. I saw the cops coming from a mile away, so I planted the stuff on the comedian. <laughs> Hi, officers. How did it go? I know you want an autograph. Every wants an autograph. You're the Is there something wrong? Look, I can't smoke hash. I'm an asthmatic. You are an asthmatic. Losing in your prison. Is that what you want? Is it... Yes, it's hash. It's not my hash. I have a TV show. Are you aware of my TV show? Uh, Sarge couldn't come. He said you could give your report to me. Okay, uh... Well, uh, I first noticed the uh, gentleman uh, down on the boardwalk here. He was uh, harassing passers-by. Uh, when I approached him uh, to question him, uh, he struck me as uh, disoriented and uh, confused. Um, I asked him to produce ID. He would not do so, uh, and he became abusive towards the uh, badge, so I uh, placed him under arrest. And that's when you locked your keys in the car? Is this the gentleman here? Yeah, that's him. Honey, could you change the sheets? Are these clean sheets? Honey? Sweetie, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Boy, I love clean sheets. <laughs> this has got to be one of life's greatest moments. Don't you think, honey? I can't think of anything else better. Nothing else even comes close. Actually, drinking a mug of cold beer is pretty nice. Yeah, clean sheets, a mug of frosty brew on a hot day. These have got to be life's greatest moments. Of course, the big dump is pretty good. Nothing beats a long dump in the morning just before you go to work. Yeah, the 20 minute dump in the morning is a slice of heaven. Gives you time to collect your thoughts. Don't you think, honey? I can't think of anything else better, except for maybe shooting a man in self-defense. And it was self-defense, right, honey? You saw it all, and that is your story in court tomorrow, right, honey, sweetie? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Clean sheets and a rock-hard alibi. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier. charge is murder. How does the defense plead? Your Honor, the defense would like to plead not guilty. Fine, then the court finds in favor of the defense. Your client is free to go. <laughs> what? Yes! 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 Honey, we need to be able to find... What does this My murder weapon. Where's the man's room? Your Honor, may I approach the bench, please? Yes, you may. Your Honor, did it ever occur to you that the defendant might have been lying? Well, Mr. District Attorney, no. No, that never occurred to me. 
But we have seven eyewitnesses. His prints were all over the murder weapon. His shirt was soaked with the victim's blood. As a matter well, of... Well, maybe I'm just not as cynical as you are. If that young man says he's not guilty, I'm afraid that's good enough for me. Now, we have a very busy schedule. I suggest we move along. Call the next case, please. The court calls Buddy the Killer Cole. <laughs> Mr. Killer, this is your appeal hearing. How does the defense plead? Sir, the uh, defense is prepared to plead guilty to a lesser charge of oof. Innocent, Your Honor. Fine case dismissed, you're free to go. Oh, and by the way, I'm a great fan of your monologues. Thanks. Let's see if we can't save a little bit of time here. Is there anyone in this court who is guilty? Well, of course. We have all these cases. Fine, everyone is found not guilty, everyone is free to go. Yay! Mr. District Attorney, would you please approach the bench? Tell me, did you even bother to ask any of these people if they were guilty? Well, of course. And? And they said they were innocent, Mr. But... District Attorney, it has never been the practice of this court to put innocent people in jail just to further my own career. May I suggest, Mr. District Attorney, that this is the wrong line of work for a man like you. After all, just because your name is Mr. District Attorney does not mean this is the only job you can hold. My name isn't Mr. District Attorney. People just call me that because I'm the district attorney. Well, fine, then it should be very easy for you to put this little career mistake behind you. This court is now adjourned. If anyone needs me, I'll be in chambers drawing amusing caricatures of prominent political figures. And stop kicking the bench, you big baby. <laughs> well, people have been known to lie. It's not a part of human nature that I'm particularly proud of. People lie. And I think your monologues are a little long. 